I'm ready to do some teaching. I hope you're ready to do some learning. Today we're going to start on some pharmacology. Okay, so one of the things I find in the office that a lot of students have trouble with is that crazy endocrine system. And so the med I'm going to be doing today is desmopressin. So first let me So desmopressin, it is an anti-diuretic hormone. It's actually man-made. Um, the body makes their own anti-diuretic hormone, but in this case, we have made an anti-diuretic hormone. It intensifies the reabsorption of the water in the kidneys, so it promotes holding fluids. Now, a lot of you get diabetes insipidus and syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone mixed up. And I want to clarify, if it has antidiuretic hormone in it, that means I'm holding too much fluid. Whereas diabetes insipidus doesn't have too much of it, it doesn't have enough, so I'm peeing out a lot. So this desmopressin is used for diabetes insipidus and it's also used for children that are having trouble with bedwetting. It's used less, vasopressin is used less frequently but is used commonly to treat septic shock, okay? But we're talking about desmopressin. So side and adverse effects, flushing, headache, nausea, abdominal cramps, water intoxication, um, that's where they've had issues with water, uh, hypertension with the water intoxication, and then the nasal congestion when we give it by nasal administration. So these are the side and adverse effects. So some interventions. The first thing we need to tell them is to avoid coffee tea and cola and energy drinks and anything else that has caffeine in it. And especially if we're giving it for bedwetting. They need to monitor their weight. Remember, fluids in the body, fluid loss, fluid gain will add weight. So we monitor weight. We do I and O and the urine osmolality. We monitor the electrolyte levels, especially the sodium. We monitor for signs of dehydration because if they aren't getting enough of the hormone, um, they will become dehydrated from all the polyuria they're doing. Now, the other thing you have to pay attention to is the weight because the weight will tell you if they're holding fluid and so will the INO. So you're playing a balancing game with this med when you're treating diabetes insipidus, okay? You're also going to monitor their blood pressure. You're going to instruct the client on how to um, use the intranasal medication. You're gonna instruct them on weighing themselves daily, making sure that they do it at the same time of the day and that they're wearing the same thing every time um, to help identify any weight gain and instruct the client to report signs of water intoxication or symptoms of headache and shortness of breath. Okay, both the weight gain and the water intoxication and the headache or shortness of breath are complications of giving this desmopressin, okay? It could be that they're not getting enough of it or they're getting too much of it, okay? All right, so this ends the teaching on desmopressin. I hope this helps. Um, again, this is from one-on-one -on -one NCLEX tutoring and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.